Having ended the last two Premier League seasons in the 16th and 17th positions respectively, not much was expected from Nottingham Forest going into the 2024-25 season. Many even expect them to finally fail avoiding the drop this season. I'm backing Forest to run out of luck when faced with what should be more competitive rivals at the bottom after last season's record low points tally for the relegated clubs, Krishan Davis, football journalist at Goal, predicted. This feels like the end for Nottingham Forest, who may need to get rid of Nuno Espirito Santo sooner rather than later if they are to have any hope of keeping themselves away from danger, Tom Maston, a football journalist at Goal, predicted. These predictions are hardly shocking, since Forrest's 32 points in the 23-24 season were the lowest ever accrued by a team that stayed up, and 12 of these points were earned against the relegated teams. They also had a bottom third defence last season and were the worst club in the league at defending opposition set pieces, conceding 22 goals from set pieces last season. It's only sensible that everyone would expect them to go down the following season. However, since the start of the 24-25 campaign, Nottingham Forest have shocked the world. They started the season with a draw at home against Bournemouth. They defeated Southampton in their second match 1-0 thanks to Gibbs White's 70th minute goal and their third match ended in a draw too. Because of the calibre of teams they were playing, football fans weren't really concerned about their great exploits, but they became the talk of the town when they humiliated Liverpool at Anfield and achieved their first win at the famous ground in 55 years. And this begs the question of how far can they go? The world of football was stunned after Nottingham Forest got maximum points against Liverpool. The shock is not only because the team that was humiliated, Liverpool, are one of the big six teams, or because Liverpool are the most decorated team in England, but because of the form Liverpool were in before coming into the game. Liverpool started the season in great form. This was actually a bit of a shock, as many thought the team were going to suffer a little after Klopp had left. Arne Slot, however, proved to be fit for the task as he thrashed newly promoted side Ipswich Town 2-0 in the first match of the season. Liverpool later repeated the same scoreline against Brentford and then on match day three, Liverpool disgraced Manchester United at home after beating them 3-0 at Old Trafford. So Liverpool came into the match against Nottingham Forest in their best form. Before the match against Nottingham Forest, Liverpool had gone unbeaten in their first three matches, scoring seven goals and conceding none. As a result, many thought that Forrest would be a walkover for the Reds, especially since the match was at Anfield. But to the surprise of all, Forrest stunned Liverpool at home, thanks to a 72nd minute goal by Hudson Odoi, the Chelsea reject. Nottingham Forrest successfully secured their first win at Anfield since 1969. Almost immediately, journalists have begun to eat their own words. I tip them to finish 16th in my pre-season predictions, but they'll already be looking much higher. They were excellent at Liverpool on Saturday and looked like a side very much in the Nuno Espirito Santo mode from his Wolves days. BBC Sports chief football writer Phil McNulty stated, Click this video link in the top right of our video on Arna Slot's new Liverpool team and subscribe if you enjoy. They're solid at the back, where Murillo is a class act, while Morgan Gibbs-White is another fine operator in midfield. And with players such as Callum Hudson-Odoi and Anthony Alanga giving Forrest the pace and width that Nuno likes, makes them dangerous on the counter-attack, he added. What stood out for Nottingham Forest against Liverpool was their squad depth. It's not common for a bottom-half team to have Hudson-Odoi, former Chelsea player, Anthony Alanga, former Man United player, Taiwo Awinigi, former Liverpool player, and Nico Williams, also former Liverpool, coming in as substitutes in a match. Hudson Odoi ended up scoring the only goal, and Alanga provided the assist in that match. To be able to bring players of that quality off the bench, who were game changers, is a massive positive. They now have strength and depth in the squad but it's taken some building and it's cost Nottingham Forest a lot of money to assemble their squad, Chris Sutton said. 
Nottingham Forest have started the 24-25 season in good form thanks to Nuno Espirito Santo's defensive masterclass. Nuno was appointed as Forest manager in December 2023, following the sacking of Steve Cooper. Cooper, who ended Nottingham Forest's 23-year absence from top-flight football by securing Premier League qualification in 2022, was sacked after losing five of his last six matches. So Nuno joined a broken Nottingham Forest that were in the 17th position in the league, just five points above relegation. Upon joining Nottingham Forest, Nuno instilled a more attacking style, focusing on counter-attacking. This ensured the team survived relegation. Chris Wood and Gibbs White are probably the most favoured by this switch. Wood ended the season with 12 goals, scoring nine under Nuno. What has stood out for Nottingham Forest since the Nuno era began is their forward players. Last season, Chris Wood led Forest in goals with 14, followed by hudson Odoi with eight, and Awaniyi with six, who had some injury issues. Both Morgan Gibbs-White and Anthony Elanga scored five goals. Attack-minded players like Chris Wood, Elanga, Odoi, Gibbs-White and Awaniyi, coupled with seasoned providers like Anderson and Ward-Prowse, are what Nuno needs to perfect his counter-attacks and set pieces. Chris Wood flies under the radar as a prolific striker. He's one of the few strikers to have scored 10 or more goals in a Premier League season for five seasons. New Zealand International has scored 13 times in 19 league appearances since the appointment of Nuno as Forest's head coach. Wood is actually a serial goal scorer. Chris Wood has scored 16 non-penalty goals. This is one more than Salah and two more than Cole Palmer since the start of the 23-24 season, which is as surprising for you as it is to us. The moment Nuno joined the team, he named Gibbs White as his number 10. And Gibbs White is perfect for Nuno's style of play. He's the perfect bridge between the attack and defence that Nuno needs. Morgan is a very special player for us. Very important, talented, the work rate on the pitch, the Portuguese manager said after Gibbs White scored and provided an assist in the 3-1 win against Fulham last season. Taiwo Awaniyi has also been an important player for Nottingham Forest. Last season, the Nigerian played just 20 matches due to injuries, but managed to score six goals and provide three assists. In the 22-23 season, he scored 10 goals. And one of the reasons why Nuno suffered in his first season at Forest is because of the players he had. They were just not players best suited for his style of play. The last summer transfer window is arguably the best that Nottingham Forest have had since returning to the Prem in 2022. Their transfers were planned and sensible. They didn't just get players because they wanted to have a large squad, they bought the right players. The club strengthened in defence, in midfield and down the flanks, adding nine quality players to their squad. During the summer transfer window, Forrest signed 21-year-old central midfielder Elliot Anderson from Newcastle and centre-back Nikola Milenkovic from Fiorentina. They also added left winger Jota Silva, defensive midfielder Marco Stamenic and exciting 18-year-old attacker Eric De Silva Moreira. They also added the experienced James Ward-Prowse. Ward-Prowse brings experience and quality to midfield, while Alex Moreno is dependable at left-back, and Elliot Anderson is another smart signing from Newcastle United. So in essence, Nottingham Forest have successfully built a perfect team to suit counter-attacking football, which Nuno is best known for. With their displays so far, they're already yielding the benefit of the investment. They are actually deceptively solid at the back too, as shown by the game against Liverpool. They often dig in and absorb lots of pressure before eventually getting a chance of their own, which they often take. They rarely concede more than one goal on a decent day, as shown by the start of this season. Under the leadership of Murillo, the Brazilian work of art, they are solid. Alex Moreno showed definite signs of quality at left-back while at Villa and is hoping to show more of these signs at Forest. In goal, they've got two great options. Matt Seld is getting the nod at the moment and is showing to be pretty dependable, even if he did have a scare against Liverpool, which nearly ended in a huge blunder. But overall, he's a good shot stopper and decent with his feet too. 
The bench keeper at the moment is Carlos Miguel, who's waiting in the wings after his £3.4 million move from Corinthians in the summer. He is supposedly great with his feet, which may give him the edge over Celt. Time will tell. Morgan Gibbs-White, Ward Prowse and Elliot Anderson have also been excellent in the midfield, with players such as Hudson-Odoi and Elanga giving Forrest the pace and width that Nuno likes, making them dangerous on the counter-attack. And Chris Wood and Awaniyi have also proven to be capable of shipping in the goals. So if all goes well, Nottingham Forest might finish in the top 10 at the end of the season. Where do you think Nottingham Forest will realistically finish this time around. Subscribe to the channel for more and we'll see you next time.